just in case you haven't seen the previous two videos, the flowers I'm transplanting in this video had to move to make room for a new goat shed. It took me longer to dig all this out than I thought it would. To treat myself for getting so far, I decided to get a haircut. A little overdue, I thought. Well, I got a haircut. These flowers get one too. Even when I do have the cocosmia and the irises transplanted to the new garden bed that I'm getting ready, it won't be much to look at. You have to severely cut them back so the plants aren't overly stressed by trying to support so much green vegetation. This one doesn't look any good, so I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna compost it either. Iris roots, the rhizomes. You don't want to compost the irises rhizomes if they're mushy because disease could then spread to other plants. This one still might be good, so I'll try and plant it. All right, so here we see the parent rhizome and the two offspring. So we're just going to separate these things. We won't use this old one. We'll just keep the two newer ones. The Crocosmias grow from corms, and obviously they look a little different than the irises. We trim these things back too.
I might try planting this one too. It's got some good little roots on it and it doesn't feel too mushy. Definitely get tossed. Here's my haul, Glucosmia and the irises. I'm gonna spread these out on top of the soil so I can get a feel for where I want to plant them. They'll be in rough clusters of the irises and Glucosmia. The Glucosmia corms are very similar to bulbs as are the irises rhizomes. Rhizomes have to be planted very near the surface, just so you can just see the top of the rhizome. The crocosmia will be planted a little deeper.
Once those flowers and pavers were out of the way, it was easier to level the area for the new structure. Not a bad job if I do say so myself. There was a last minute change of plans. Rather than have the new goat shed right up against the barn shed, I decided to repurpose those pavers that had been around the flower bed that was right here to give a little bit of space between the structures. We might need to repaint the barn shed or do a little roof repair in the future. This much space will be a little tight, but doable, I think. I only had to buy four more of those pavers to make it work. Now that the building is going to be this much further forward, I might need to cut into this tree some more. Once the goat fencing is in place, I'd like to have enough room for a walking path to just go on the outside of the fence into the yard. I'll wait until I can actually see how close the fence is before I do that. This is a very important piece of equipment if you're doing a project that requires a lot of digging. When you get tired, it's nice to sit back, relax, and admire how much you've already got done. For the end of this video, let's do a quick before and after. Thanks for watching. We'll just have to wait until part four of Big Things Are Happening for me to show some of my fencing prep work. Valkyrie, are you looking forward to a new fence? No? You just want to eat beans? She likes them better than any of our other goats.